Good evening. Welcome to the 2014 Essex County College Scholarship Awards Night. This is an exciting night for the faculty and the staff to acknowledge our outstanding students. So thank you for being here. Presiding over the event tonight will be Mr. Melvin Knight, the outstanding director of our outstanding athletics department. <laughs> and also our great professor of math and physics, Inez Figueres. And to get the evening started, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our great leader, Dr. Gail E. Gibson, president. She will now bring you greetings to this wonderful evening. I am extremely proud of the wonderful success of our student, and I know Dr. Gibson is equally proud of you. So without further ado, Dr. Gail E. Gibson. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. No, 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 no. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. That's Essex County College. You know, normally when I stand on the dais and I bring greetings, I would normally start off with something on, I bring you greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees and my office, yada, yada. However, I am so pleased that tonight we actually have our board chair present with us, Mr. Calvin Souther, Esquire. And I would like him to come and bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees. <laughs> Thank you, Yale. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's my job now to sit here and say, good evening. Uh, <laughs> I bring you greetings on behalf. No, um, as, as you all know, it, each year we, we conclude the year with, with celebrating uh, the successes of our students and, and our faculty and, and, and everyone at the institution who goes above and beyond uh, what they're paid to do here and also just getting a degree. It's truly an honor to be here as your leader. I really just came to watch tonight and to celebrate you all. So uh, as I'm supposed to do on behalf of the Board of Trustees, um, thank you all for the hard work and dedication. And we congratulate those here tonight who we're celebrating. Thank you. Thank you. The Scholarship Awards Night is the second I guess highlight to the commencement season. And the first highlight for me is always handing each and every single one of their, the graduates their degrees on commencement day. Today marks a milestone in our college's wonderful history. Not only are you, the class of 2014, the 45th class to graduate from ECC, but today you are representing our new brand. You are examples of every achievement this college represents. As you embark on your journey, you will continue to exceed our expectations and yours. A brand is not just a name or a logo. It is the heartbeat of the institution. Essex County College has served as a beacon to our residents since 1968 and our mission will never waver. In the generations before us, we have worked to change lives and build futures. You have come to Essex with high hopes to improve your lives through education. We at Essex believe that you are capable and ready to tackle the challenges that will help you achieve your dreams. You are now ready to fulfill your potential for the rest of your life. That is what our brand conveys, exceed expectations. When you see our new logo, you will know that it's Essex County College. As part of our new branding, we are commemorating our past by collecting college items from over the years for a time capsule. Look to my right. Among the items on display are some of our old logos. These logos gives you an idea of how our image have evolved over the decades. 
The time capsule will be sealed soon and placed in a display case in the Martin Luther King Jr. Library. It will be opened with fanfare in the year 2019 as we celebrate our 50th anniversary. I hope to see you back to share your achievements on your five-year reunion. Although we look forward to your return in 2019, tonight we celebrate you and your academic accomplishments. Dr. Knox will follow me and speak on academic excellence, so I don't want to steal his thunder, but I will say that the group assembled here tonight, this evening, is a, it, this group made a conscious decision to put in the hard work the effort, the late nights, the early mornings to complete their degree programs and did so with excellence. This evening, you can celebrate the fruits of your labor. I want to take a moment to acknowledge your academic support team, which is comprised of the faculty, the staff, and administrators that have assisted each one of you on your academic journey. Whether it was an academic advisor that helped you to plan your schedule or a tutor in the learning center, a member of the facilities team that may have helped you find that classroom on the very first day, or a faculty member who took the extra time to help you learn that concept that was difficult. Everyone in the ECC family plays a role in our student success, so I thank you. Also, to the support teams, to the support teams that are at home, to the parents, to the spouses, to the children, and to the other family members and friends, thank you for all that you do to support our students and to get them to this point on their journey. Graduates, I encourage you to continue on your pursuits of academic excellence. I want to dare you to be the best and not just complacent. And yes, tonight we celebrate your accomplishments. But no way, no way is this the end. You are just beginning your journey to greatness. And I am so pleased, I am really pleased, and I'm touched that you chose Essex County College as your foundation and that we have gotten to you to this point in your journey. So congratulations to all of you and enjoy this evening. And I will see you on May, well, I'll see you throughout the night. But on May 30th, I will shake each and every single one of your hands. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Gibson. It is with great pleasure that our next speaker present remarks on academic excellence. Dr. Edwin Knox, our Vice President, Chief Academic Officer, is a strong pro proponent of academic ex excellence. Your successes are true validation to what Dr. Knox advocates. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Dr. Edwin Knox. Wow, congratulations. This is like the big event that uh, you get the awards for all of your, your hard work and dedication to what you set out to do two, three, four, and sometimes maybe five years ago. So it brings us to this point, and I certainly want to congratulate you. I want to bring the greetings to all of you who are guests here on behalf of the Essex County College family. I am truly honored to be here, and I am pleased to extend to you a warm Essex County College welcome. This is a very festive evening, and rightfully so. We are here to celebrate the high academic achievements of our students and the impressive array of scholarships and awards they have earned. Tonight, we recognize excellence. And while each of you understand excellence in your own way, I would like to commend you to, the, excuse me, commend to you the words of the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, who famously said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. In, order, in other words, we must practice in order to be excellent. We must consistently strive to do better until we are able to perfect what we do, and then we must continue to work some more. Those who are able to achieve excellence never rest on their laurels. 
The students who are receiving awards tonight are examples of what it means to strive for excellence. They are models of the dedication and hard work that result in high achievement. They set standards for themselves and they work to meet and exceed the standards that faculty set for them. For many, that is not an easy task, particularly when other life responsibilities like family and work demand equal and sometimes more attention. Tonight, we recognize their dedication and perseverance in spite of all odds. Tonight, we give them awards to testify that to the academic excellence that they have achieved here at Essex County College. As the Vice President of Academic Affairs, I am deeply, deeply committed to the college's mission of academic excellence and success of our students. We recruit high quality faculty, many of them are sitting amongst you there in the audience, along with professional staff who have joined us tonight. They each teach and support our students. And we invest in ongoing professional development to keep their skills current and relevant. We provide rich learning experiences for our students. We prepare them to be critical thinkers and change agents ready for the challenges they will face as global citizens in tomorrow's world. And while I could speak on, which I can, I will not belabor the point. <laughs> I am truly honored, of course, to congratulate each and every award recipient. Enjoy your much deserved success and let excellence be a habit in your life. Congratulations. Um, now to announce our valedictorian and our salutatorian is again Dr. Gail Gibson. Please join me in welcoming her back to the stage. Introduction of our salutatorian. First Lady Michelle Obama, songwriter John Legend, and platinum recording artist Carrie Underwood are all notable figures that have something in common. They were each selected as the salutatorians of either their high school or college graduating class. This evening, we will add to this list as we announce the salutatorian for the Essex County College class of 2014. Although his journey to a college degree was a long and winding one, he took the non-traditional route he will graduate with a 4.0 grade point average and will receive, yeah. <laughs> and he will receive an Associates of Arts degree in liberal arts. During his time at Essex, he served as the Vice President of Public Relations for the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, a member of the Honors Program, a member of the all new Jersey academic team and the Coca-Cola Community College academic team. He was also selected to give a speech at the Phi Theta Kappa Day in Trenton and he did a phenomenal job. <laughs> Next fall, he will transfer to Columbia University where he will pursue a degree in English and comparative literature. His long-term goal is to pursue a doctoral degree in American literature and teach on the college level. Ladies and gentlemen, class of 2014, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the salutatorian, Mr. Joseph Lacasio. <laughs>
Okay, Joseph will stand there. <laughs> Next, I would like to introduce our valedictorian. The, graduate, the graduation valedictorian is someone who graduates with the highest ranking in their class. At ECC, we look beyond the GPA and consider the student's essay and personal interview in looking for a person that exemplifies the graduating class. The person selected has the honor of giving the valedictory address, which is generally uh, considered a final farewell to the classmates before they disperse to pursue their individual paths after graduating. Our 2014 valedictorian joins the ranks of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, performer Alicia Keys, and civil rights activist Paul Robeson. Our valedictorian also has an impressive journey to share. She hails from the home, my home country. I was not on the selection committee. <laughs> the beautiful island of Barbados. She did not have a clear plan, but resolved that she would in fact pursue a college education in order to reach her goals. And I know for a fact that her father steered her to Essex County College. On May, on May 30th, she will graduate at the age of 19 with the highest honors a 4.0 GPA and an Associate of Science degree in Social Sciences. As a member of Phi Theta Kappa, the Honors Program, an active participant in the Urban Issues Institute, yes, Professor Stevens. She balanced her academic aspirations with the desire to serve as a tutor for NJS program and a volunteer at her church on various relief missions. Her future aspirations include pursuing a master's in business management and a doctoral degree in clinical psychology and counseling. Ultimately, she plans to be a licensed professional counselor with a private practice. Ladies and gentlemen, or class of 2014 valedictorian is none other than Ms. Angelique Ford. <laughs> Oh, you think that's impressive. That's really impressive. But one of the things that's very interesting here is the great work that our faculty uh, are doing and working with our students. And so I was told how difficult it was to make the decision on the two people you see, uh, you saw before you, mainly because there was a total of eight students that had 4.0s. Give it up. So these students who um, competed for that they all have 4.0 so I'm gonna call them to the stage they are also going to participate in the uh, graduation and lead the students in as student marshals so I'm just going to call them by name and ask them to join us on the stage and forgive me if I sort of tear the names up a little bit but I think I got it all right the first person is E. Bucci E. Lo Guy Lou, 
I hope I got that. That's pretty close, right? <laughs> Come on up and join us on the stage. That's, that's a 4.0 there, all right? The next person is Andrea Ordonis. Andrea Ordonis, another 4.0 student. Please join us on the stage. The next student is Deanna Gonzalez. And the final student is Noah Ibram. This is truly academic excellence, and we certainly want to commend them for the hard work and the awards. Dr. Knox, if you could just stay here, please. Uh, okay. When you talk about academic, academic excellence, you're talking about busy. So we're going to keep you busy because that's what we're here tonight, okay. for academic excellence. Okay. Presenting the next award, the Jack Kent Cook recipients and Marshall. Ooh, okay, wow. Mm. Dr. Edwin Knox. Okay, good. Let me tell you, wow. This is quite impressive. And I get the opportunity to introduce uh, two scholars beyond the doors of the institution. The next two people that I would call to the stage are uh, two students who have received a very prestigious uh, award called the Jack Kent Cook Foundation Transfer Scholarship. That scholarship is awarded to students who are going to continue their education, hopefully at some very prestigious uh, institution. They will receive $3,000 for three, 30, I'm sorry, 30. Let me, not go, let me say this over. Take three out of your mind. $30,000 for three years for a total of $90,000 toward their education. The first recipient of the award is Sophia Medina. Please join us. Sophia is hoping to become a doctor with a global sort of perspective. So congratulations to her. The next recipient is Sylvia O. Er, T, <laughs> Ta. I, I've been practicing this, and even my assistant put it phonetically on my, <laughs> on my, my list. So we want to welcome Sylvia to the uh, stage. All right. This is absolutely amazing in the history of this, uh, this, this award here at the college, they are the 10th and the 11th recipient. So they are among some very, very distinguished uh, graduates of the institution. And we want to wish them the very, very best in their educational pursuits and in their life. And I think the $90,000 is a great way to start that endeavor. Is Professor Berry here? Oh, okay. So let me just brag a little bit, and, and I just want to say that over the past three years, I know his math was a little bit bad, and 3,000, 30,000, but we have awarded in the past three years, um, our students have been selected, eight students. So multiply eight times 90. 
then you understand why we are so proud of our students and of the work that is done here at this. That's seven hundred and twenty, seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's almost a million dollars in scholarship. Now applaud. Yeah. So now we move forward with the, uh, the rest of the program and we'll be awarding some scholarships. So if the recipients and the um, folks giving out the scholarship would please come to the center of the stage and wait for the photograph um, and so things will move along quickly. So our first scholarship is the Academic Achievement Award. It will be presented by Professor Rita Higgins to Fitzgerald Prophet, a business administration major. Our next scholarship is the Dingler Foundation Scholarship. Will be presented by Associate Director Mika Maccabi. This scholarship was established by the trustees of the Christian and Teresa Dingler Foundation to provide financial assistance to promising students from Essex County College who have achieved academic success and plan to continue their education. The recipients are Faith Arita, Major General Science 3.9. Hygen <laughs> Kim, Major General Science, GPA 3.6. Richard Asakandu Taliji. Major, General Science, GPA 3.1. Amali Ratnapala, GPA 3.71, Nursing. Natalie White-Smith, Major, Nursing. And these are the recipients of the Dingler Foundation Scholarship. Let's give them a hand, please. Our next scholarship is the Alumni Association Scholarship. It will be presented by Lola Akiwoa. The recipients are Nicole Bonney, GPA 3.2, Biology Pre-Med Major. Jason Cevalos, 3.76 GPA, Major Engineering. Takima Gillespie, 3.0, Major Social Science. Dawn Green, 3.85, Major Social Science. Lorenzo Lee Copeland, Major Criminal Justice, 3.38 GPA. And Rhaenyra Morris, Business Administration Major. Congratulations. Our next scholarship, Groove Five Groove Social Fellowship. 
Pres the presenter, Associate Director Bertrand Shockley. And Mr. Kelvin Brian Brown. And the recipients are Alfredo Salgada, Liberal Arts, Jeffrey Cooper, Human and Social Services, GPA 3.71. Scholarship is the Candace Dixon Woman of Achievement Award. This will be presented by our Associate Dean, Patricia Slade, and the recipients are Victoria Cooper, Social Science Major, transferring to Rutgers University, and Sherry Frazier, Human and Social Services. Those are our two recipients. This is the Candace. Achievement Award was established in April of 1983 by Ms. Candace Dixon to provide financial assistance to a single female parent who plans to continue her education at a four-year college. Next scholarship. The Leaguers Inc. Award. Presenter, Ms. Yvonne Lowen. Yeah. Yeah. Recipient of this scholarship award is to provide access to higher education for needy and deserving African American students who have demonstrated the ability to succeed academically. Presenting is Yolanda Reed. Did you say her name? The recipient, Sierra Spriggs. GPA 3.92. Social science major. Transferred to Great University of Seton Hall University. Scholarship is the Social Work Student Association Scholarship. It will be presented by Arzelia Said, and the recipient is Bart Asaluka, 3.53 GPA, Human and Social Services. All right. Our next scholarship is the JPU Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of our late colleague JPU and his family. This will be presented by Professor Emeritus Don Yi, and the recipient is Sammy Amar, 4.0 GPA, Engineering. Folks, this is our, our late Dr. Yu's wife presenting the scholarship at this time. Right. Thank you for being here. Oh, OK. 
Sorry. And next, Drs. Mary B. and Reynold E. Birch Scholarship, presented by Assistant Director Jamil Graham. The Reynold E. and Mary B. Birch Endowment Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 annual to a graduating minority African American student who has been accepted at a four year college, university, or professional school to pursue the arts of allied health. The recipient is Saldivik Chikoa, 3.93 Bio Pre Med major. Next is the Scorzo Weber Academic Excellence Scholarship, presented by Professor Emeritus Don Ying. This scholarship is presented to graduates who have demonstrated outstanding academic excellence. The recipients are Sophia Medina, 3.97, Bio Pre Med. Donald Coleman, 3.91, Math and Computer Science. And Sylvia Huerta, 3.94, Bio Pre Med. Our next scholarship, Sydney Johnson Arthur Williams Award for Science. Presenter, Marvin Pettis. The Alpha Phi Alpha Lambda chapter of the fraternity located in Newark, established in 1982, the Sydney Johnson Arthur Williams Annual Award in 1982. The grant is awarded to a graduating science major achieving the highest overall grade point average in his or her graduating class. The recipients are Fullerin Adadiji, <laughs> Chemical Engineering Major, 3.47. Donald Coleman, Math and Computer Science Major, 3.91 GPA. Our next scholarship is the Ronald L. N. Palmieri Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is for graduates who maintain at least a 3.0 GPA and plan on continuing their education at a four-year institution. The presenter is Assistant Dean Charlotte Attenborough, and the recipient is Takima Gillespie, 3.01 Social Science. Looks like she's not here tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Our next scholarship award is the Presidential Scholarship presented by our president, Dr. Gail E. Gibson. Woo! The Presidential The Presidential Tuition Scholarship was established in August 1979 by the President of Essex County College. Its purpose is to provide access to higher education for needy and deserving students who have demonstrated the ability to succeed academically. And the recipients are Noah Ibrahim, 
major biomed 4.0. Diego Gonzalez, Liberal Arts 3.87, Imani Arav Arava, 3.77 Major Liberal Arts, excuse me for that name. Mama Boo Ba, GPA 3.88, Bio Pre Med. Raymond Spencer, Major Communication, GPA 3.61. Angelic Forty. Ford, GPA, listen to this, 4.0, social science. Our next scholarship is the Vice President Chief Academic Officer Scholarship. The purpose of this award is to provide financial assistance to a deserving ECC graduate who has demonstrated the ability to succeed academically and plans to pursue their degree at a four-year institution. The presenters are Vice President Dr. Edwin Knox and our recipients are Tan Duong, 3.90, Engineering. Joseph Locascio, 4.0, Liberal Arts. Andrea Ordonez, 3.98, Accounting. Andrea Ordonez. And Diana Gonzalez, 4.0, Business Administration. Our next scholarship is the Executive Dean of Student Success, presenter, Executive Dean, Dr. Susan Mulligan. This award is presented to a student who made the Dean's List every semester at Essex County College. And this recipient, Irene Acevedo, 3.86 Liberal Arts. Irene is not here, so I'll hold on that for myself. <laughs> okay, our next scholarship is the Administrative Association Scholarship. The ECC Administrative Association Scholarship is awarded annually to a member of the graduating class of the college who plans to pursue a bachelor's degree. This will be distributed by Associate Dean Keith Kirkland, and the recipients are Raymond Spencer, 3.61, Communications. And Nicole Bonney, 3.22, Bio Premed. Next presenter is Mr. Augustine Boaki for the Darlene Liggins Scholarship. The Darlene Liggins Scholarship has been established at Essex County College by Peggy R. Oso Severus in memory of Darlene Higgins, Liggins, rather, 
who attended ECC and became a successful marketing manager and director in both the communication and banking industries. The scholarship is awarded to a graduating female student majoring in business administration with the highest grade point average. And the recipient is Sandra Rodriguez, major accounting, GPA 3.93. Sandra is not here. I'm getting richer by the minute. <laughs> okay, our next scholarship is the Hispanic Heritage Andres V. Cubero Scholarship. This will be presented by Lisa Padilla. This scholarship is available to ECC students of Puerto Rican or Latin American heritage. The scholarship was established by the Hispanic Heritage Month Committee at Essex County College. Its purpose is to provide financial assistance to those who have demonstrated scholastic achievement, community involvement, and have affirmed their commitment to further their formal education through enrollment in a college or university. The recipients are Melissa Merino Goni, 3.98, Bio Premed, and Diego Gonzalez. 3.87, Liberal Arts. Our next scholarship is the Jeanette May Memorial West Essex Advisory Board. The presenter is Associate Dean Elvira Vieira, and Counselor Noreen Moore Melnick. The West Essex Campus Advisory Board established a scholarship in November 1990 to provide financial assistance to a student graduating from the West Essex Campus. The recipients are Jenna Casso, GPA 3.97 major, liberal arts. Christine Tizio, GPA 3.93, Major Social Science. Recipient, Marissa Delmonico, GPA 3.84, Major Liberal Arts. Congratulations. Next is the Dr. Lady Lise G. White Honors Program Award. This will be presented by Dr. Lady Lise White, professor and founder of the Honors Program. She established the award to recognize and provide financial assistance to students who exemplify the ideals of the program. Exceptional honor students who have demonstrated academic excellence and plan to pursue a four-year college or university will receive a scholarship to be used for educational materials in college. The recipients are Sylvia Huerta, 3.94, Bio Premed. And Sofia Medina, 3.97, Bio Premed. Our next scholarship is the Phi Theta Kappa Scholarship. Presenters, Sean O'Connell and Jeffrey Lee. The Phi Theta Kappa Presidential Scholarship is presented to a member of the Phi Theta Kappa, the National Honor Society for two-year college student. Recipients are Raymond Spencer. <laughs> Communication major, 3.61 Rutgers Transfer. 
Melissa Marino Goni. GPA 3.98. Major Bio Pre Med. Diego Gonzalez. 3.87. Major Liberal Arts. Jennifer Anadaraja. 3.87. Major Liberal Arts. Congratulations. Issues Institute Scholarship Award will be presented by Dr. Margaret Stevens. The recipients are Erica Rollis, Mark Watkins, Diana Aru, and Helena Henry. Congratulations. Okay, great, thank you. All right, so this scholarship was actually incorporated into um, the scholarship program for the entire college this year. And um, it's, it's special for me in part because it's, it's for students who um, are not graduating but have participated in um, what, we, what we try to do. Just as, you, just as a note so you can understand, the Urban Issues Institute that I run here at the college um, really makes an effort to try to help um, the, the young, bold, courageous people who decide that they want to do something positive with their lives by coming back to school. We really try to make an effort to, to help the college um, engage these young people around issues that are pertinent and relevant to their lives and to people all over the world um, at the local and international levels. And so what we do is we encourage young people to participate in programs like voter registration and leadership development like we do every summer or boot camp. We have so much support and we're so lucky um, to receive support from not only student life and activities for programs like this, but also uh, our President Gibson and our Trustee Souter. These are recurring supporters for the programs that we do. So anyway, this year we had a voter registration scholarship, um, which we do every year, but this year with the theme of if I were mayor of Newark for a day, because we just had one of the biggest mayoral races in this city. It lasted for about a year. <laughs> and. Um, so we were trying to honor and get our young people engaged in what's happening in the politics locally by thinking creatively what they would do if they were mayor for a day. So what we have here are the awards. These are the cards. These students all have actually won um, cash, but this is not the cash. Clearly, they can't take that to the bank. But these are our awards. Um, these two young in the middle. Uh, the students in the middle, they presented a digital presentation, as well as this brother right here, and this sister over here at the end, Helena, who won first place for her essay. Um, it's just so poetic and amazing to see the issues that they chose to address, uh, poverty, unemployment, better food, uh, to deal with the food deserts in the hood where you can't get good food, but you can get McDonald's. So in any case, thank you so much, and um, we're going to take a picture. <laughs> Our next scholarship is the Athletics Academic Scholars Scholarship, and it will be presented by my co-presenter, Mr. Melvin Knight, the Director of Athletics. Now, before I announce the recipients, Mr. Knight whispered to me that a number of our recipients are actually not in New Jersey because they're competing at a track event in Arizona, correct? Nevertheless, we're very happy for them. So. The first recipient is Sylvia Huerta, women's soccer, 3.94, bio pre-med. 
Emma Block, women's basketball, 3.33. Janaya Heald, women's cross country, 3.27. Kadesha Heald, Women's Track, 3.85. Fernando Suarez, Men's Soccer, 3.52. Delano Davis, Men's Track, 3.92. And Andre Colebrook, Men's Cross Country, 3.92. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Accounting Service Award, which will be presented by Professor Ra Rachel Pernia. This award is given to graduating accounting majors who have made significant contributions to the accounting department while maintaining an outstanding GPA. The recipients are Jeffrey Morton, 3.89, Accounting. <laughs> Maria Vallejo, 3.84, Accounting. Our next scholarship is the ECC African Student Association Award. The presenter is Nessie Hill. This scholarship is awarded to extraordinary students from the African continent that has a grade point average of 3.0 or higher. Recipients have shown dedication to community service, student activities, both on campus and in Essex County. Good evening. In 1999, I founded the ECC African Students Association. Two years later, I established a separate fund known as the CASA Award Scholarship to acknowledge those African students who have successfully completed their studies and earned a GPA of 3.0 or higher. This award also is for students who attended ICASA meetings, participated in student activities, and community service. Tonight, as I look back and learn of what is happening in Nigeria with the education of young girls in jeopardy, and girls who dreamt to become doctors and lawyers, nurses, and more. And now those girls are living in fear, and their dream has turned into a nightmare. When I look at the students who will receive this award, you give me hope. And I'll quote Einstein, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. And therefore, as you move on to the universities, I ask you to give back to your communities, your families, and keep the dream alive. Thank you. Recipients are Stella Ugura, GPA 3.34, Social Science. Amarachi Inwiri, GPA 3.7, General Science. A 
Aki Mahdi Adimola. 3.54 Bio Premed. Akivi Agumanu. General Science 3.62. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Business Division Award. It will be present, presented by Professor Jermaine Albuquerque. And the recipient is Nelly Odrago, 3.8, Business Administration. Division of Biology and Chemistry Scholarship. Presenter, Jill Stein. And Eunice Kamangi. Kamange. Kamunge. Kamunge. Sahar G. This scholarship is presented to a science graduate for academic achievement. And the recipients are Melissa Marino Ghani, GPA 3.98 Bio Pre Med. <laughs> High Engine Kim, GPA 3.68 General Science. Maureen Famosa, GPA 3.65. Bio Pre Med. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Charles G. Lavallo Scholarship. It will be presented by Associate Dean Keith Kirkland. The recipients are Charles Bright, GPA 3.7, Business Administration. Faith Ariata, 3.97, General Science. Dawn Green, 3.85, Social Science. And Tyrone Wheeler, 3.97, Business Administration. We just want to take a quick minute to uh, note that we changed the name of the Continuing Education Scholarship to honor Dean Charles Lovallo, who served this college for 40 years, served our community, helped build programs at our institution, and because of him, we're a great college, and we want to honor him with this award tonight. Thank you. Next scholarship, Engineering, Technologies, and Computer Science Scholarship. Presenter is the chairperson, R Ravi Shanda Mani Man. 
The Engineering Technologies and Computer Science Division Scholarship was established by the faculty in the division to award graduating students in the degrees program of the division. And the recipient is Walid Omar. GPA 3.97, Engineering. Next scholarship is from the Bilingual Division. It is the William Blades ESL Scholarship presented by Professor John Hills. And the recipients are Duang Do Engineering 3.89. And Hai Jin Kim, General Science, 3.68. The EOF Community Advisory Board Scholarship. Presenters, Joanna Romano and Carolina Beretta. Where's Carolina? She's just not here at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> the EOF scholarship is given to the graduating EOF student who has completed a full-time credit load each semester with a GPA of 2.0 or better, maintain an overall GPA of 3.0, participate in EOF, uh, required activities and has participated in college and community service. And the recipient with a 3.97 GPA in social science is Christopher Halloran. He's home studying. My bank is growing. <laughs> Next, we have the Faculty Association Scholarship that will be presented by Linda Sally. Yeah. And Jeff Lee. <laughs> Our first recipient is Ibeabuchi Ilogalu, 4.0 General Science. His wife just had a baby yesterday. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next recipient is Christopher Halloran, 3.97, social science. Angie Mohammed, 3.95, physical therapy assistant. Donald Coleman, 3.91, math and computer science. And Jeffrey Morton, 3.89, accounting. Congratulations. Very uh, active association, the Fashion Entertainment Board Scholarship. Very active group. The presenter, Kurt Quaco. The Fashion Entertainment Board Scholarship is presented to a graduate who has, who has been active in the fashion club as well as other college and community activities. The recipients have demonstrated the ability to succeed academically and plans to continue their education. And the recipients are Nate Thomas, 3.41, Humanities and Social Services. Grace Hoyas, 
3.75 GPA General Science. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Final Push Scholarship. This scholarship was created by the Criminal Justice Department for criminal justice majors who have at three classes or less to graduate and have maintained a GPA of 3.0 or better. The award is presented to a, to a student who is not eligible for financial aid and needs financial assistance to complete his or her course of studies and graduate with a criminal justice degree. This award will be presented by Associate Dean Patricia Slade, and the recipient is Maxwell Fanfan, Fan, Criminal Justice. Humanities Scholarship, presenter Rita Higgins. This scholarship is awarded to a liberal arts major who has superior academic record in the broad array of required major courses as well as the college general education requirement. We have a liberal arts major, Tracy Scott. Our next scholarship is the John R. R. Wood Memorial Scholarship, presented by Ruthie Hansilis. This is in honor of the college's first acquisition librarian. This scholarship is presented to a student who plans to continue his or her education at a four-year uh, institution and has demonstrated a sincere interest in humanitarian endeavors. The recipient is Victoria Cooper with a 3.89. Social Science. <laughs> Next scholarship is the Ziamara Torres Legacy, presented by Director Joanna Romano and Associate Director Carolina Beretta. These scholarships are given to EOF graduates who have participated in college or community service, presented a written assessment of how the EOF program has assisted the student. And the recipient is Jeffrey Cooper. Right. 3.71 Humanities and Social Services. Next, we have the Giuliano Memorial Scholarship, presented by Dr. Giuliano. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating ECC student in the humanities or social sciences. The recipient of this award should be a single mother actively involved in civic advocacy or political causes and has a, a GPA of 2.5 or better. The recipient is Nancy Padilla. I just want to say, uh, I see a few originals from 1967 in the audience, and I wanted to say, great job. I know there was a lot of people that didn't want this building here, and uh, I can remember, you know, Clinton Street, and I was just a kid, my mom went there, and, and she was a single parent, not a single parent, but a parent that had seven children, and it was not easy. And I can tell you how this building 
was something she was proud of. I'm so happy that, you know, that we got through this election and, and things are good you know, for, for Newark and things are good for Essex County. I just, I just am so proud of this college and uh, you know, to see the names that I grew up with. You know, I'm, I'm, here I am, 47 years old, and there's names that are just coming back around. I guess things don't, they, they, they change, but they stay the same. But they're not going to, right? We're going to get Barack Obama back here, I hope, right? That's what I want to see happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, I love Essex County College, and keep moving. Our next scholarship, the Robert Sidney Needham Memorial Scholarship. Recipient, well, let me just tell you the presenter is first. Sybil Bose Warmly. Yeah. And the scholarship is awarded to full-time sophomores. They must be a graduate of a New Jersey high school with a grade point average of 3.0 or above. They must be actively involved in community service, campus leadership, and show great financial need. And the recipients are LaVita Pickett, <laughs> Sildivik Chikora, Dewan Alford, and Jalisa McGeechan. Our next scholarship is from the Division of Mathematics and Physics and will be presented by Dr. Mahmoud Abu Judai. Our recipients are Julian Lavoisier, Donald Coleman. Marla Fagenbaum, Yasmin Jamal, and Carlo Duncan. Congratulations. Let me just say that this is the first time we have uh, graduate students in mathematics with the GBA 4.0, and, and this is the second largest group to graduate in mathematics. This year we'll graduate seven students with an uh, associate degree in mathematics. Congratulations, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Dora M. Campbell Counseling Award. Presenter, Victor Stolberg. Yeah. Scholarships are awarded to graduates who have achieved outstandingly throughout his or her efforts and human involvement with the Essex County College community. It must be used for continued education at a four-year institution. And the recipient is Sherry Frazier. Hey folks, one more. Almost there. This is the Florence Weidman Bay Scholarship. It will be presented by Joanna Romano and Carolina Beretta. It's awarded to graduates who have succeeded academically and expressed financial need. The recipient is Eki Adeline. That's sister. Adeline E.K. Okay. 
Thank you. I got that right. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see why. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank, I would like to give a special thank you to the enrollment service staff led by Assistant Dean Casa, the graphics department led by Supi, the scholarship committee, student life and development staff, and all others that worked to make this evening a success. Thank you, congratulations to all the recipients, and much success in your future. Thank you, co-presenter.